Mars. Hello out there, David Wiz Electric here. Well, this video is long overdue. In fact, this car was delivered to the client nearly a year ago. Maybe you've already seen this, this 1974 all-electric VW thing. Um, because halfway through production and about a day after we got it rolling electric, we posted this little 10 second Instagram uh, donut burnout video. Um, Jalopnik got a hold of it and it really took off. This is Jonathan Ward. He runs Icon Customs in Los Angeles. Just Google Icon Derelicts and his cars will pop up. They're wonderful mid-century original paint cars, uh, but state-of-the-art drivetrains all hidden underneath. Uh, anyway, for years now, we've been looking for a, a way to collaborate together on a project. Jonathan had a client who was all in on going electric and found an original paint sunshine yellow is what VW called it. Uh, it's a 1974 VW thing. Uh, he called it the wild thing, sent it down to us so we can do our thing to it. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Icon builds are totally over the top uh, powerhouses. So we just couldn't use the uh, the double the horsepower motor we normally put in the Beetle um, no, this one is the wild thing, so let's quintuple <laughs> the uh, thing's uh, original horsepower. So this little pup has a 210 horsepower, 180 pound-feet uh, torque AMR racing motor. It's crazy, it's fast, it's powerful, it's absolutely wonderful. So it's all very high performance, and uh, that means a higher voltage system. It requires a really beefy cooling system, a uh, stronger battery, custom LSD transaxle, and uh, a larger, more robust battery and charging system, bigger brakes, uh, adjustable suspension, bigger tires, quicker charging. Many of the original parts are still retained though, like the original bumpers, the steering wheel, the dash, and of course the wonderful doors that just easily pop out. Like all of our builds, we retain the manual transmission. We did a high performance uh, LSD transaxle here in this car, um, but we keep the clutch and the shifter. And uh, when you combine an electric motor with the manual transmission, you kind of get what I have been calling selectable torque. So first gear is super low. I mean, you can climb walls with it. Uh, second gear is really great for quick takeoffs, but you can just as easily take off in uh, third gear. And that's kind of where you'll spend most of your time. Even in traffic, stop and go traffic, you can leave it in third gear. Uh, you, can, uh, you can come to a stop. You can do that without even downshifting. So it's really, really easy to drive. And then uh, fourth gear is like an overdrive just for the highway. Range is about 90 miles, even with a heavy foot. And charge time is about four hours at uh, 50%. Uh, if you drive more, it's gonna take a little bit longer to charge. Um, like all of our builds, this includes regen braking, drive-by wire throttle, uh, disc brakes, LED lights, lithium batteries. This one also has an electric heater and a real killer sound system. We couldn't just copy what we did in the uh, last thing build. Uh, nearly everything had to be reworked. Uh, many, many new components and systems that we figured out. Uh, but that led to a few really nice uh, surprises and uh, nice opportunities like uh, and the motor bay uh, it had to be totally redesigned to accommodate this uh, different shaped motor. And uh, the motor also needed a larger, more complex cooling system. So uh, taking a design cue from 
the original side air intake vents. Uh, I kind of replicated that design in the motor bay. Uh, I think that looks really sharp. These slots draw air in from the sides of the car and they push it out the bottom just like the uh, original engine van did. We also got to use a GPS driven digital display in the dash, uh, something we had been thinking about for a long time, uh, but the Beatles physically won't allow enough room behind uh, the dash for this type of display. So we worked with our friends at Andromeda on the engineering, and then I got to spend some time on a VW speedometer redesign. Uh, I created all the graphics and the animations that show the speed and the region and uh, the range, and even the tachometer is built into this dis display. It's kind of a, a nod to the old gauge design and uh, what I think you might find in uh, a modern electric car. Uh, everything's there, turn signals, high beams, there's even a little cute red turtle that's going to signal it's almost time to plug in. A lot of what we learned in this build is going to go into our future builds. So after a few hundred miles of testing, it was time to send the car back up to Icon and uh, let those guys work their magic. While at Icon, they stepped up the suspension with coilovers, uh, larger Willwood disc brakes. Uh, the vinyl windows were upgraded to glass. Uh, new seats up front. These are much more comfortable. They're leather. Um, they're more cushy. They're really period correct looking. They look perfect in the car. And then the back seat was done in the same matching leather. I absolutely love the way that these came out. Um, uh, also a vintage hard top was sourced and painted black and uh, sound deadening was added. And check out the cool duckboard wooden flooring. I love that. Icon is really known for going to the nth degree with their attention to uh, super functional uh, detail. Uh, just look at the, the pedal cluster and uh, the laser etched heat graphic for our instant uh, electric heat system. Just pretty cool. So I'm super, super happy with this build. It took uh, quite a few more months uh, longer than we had originally planned, uh, but the finish and the final fit of everything is absolutely perfect. This is one very happy wild thing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can email me, david at zelectric.com, and uh, check our Twitter and our Facebook and all those things, and uh, stay up to date. We're probably most active and most interesting, I think, on Instagram. So check that out. It's really a lot of fun.